So, this is the final part, for now, of my record collection. We're going to be talking about the uh, rock and roll and kind of poppy stuff I got uh, remaining. This might be split into two parts. We'll never know. But first, we got... Well, really, there's no order to these either, but uh, here's Rush 2112. Um, I really like the A-side to this. The rest of it's kind of strange, and I'm not really into it. Uh, Boston 1, uh, fastest-selling album of its time. Uh, my copy is very well loved, as you can tell by the uh, ring wear, although I wasn't necessarily the one who loved it this much. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pretty good album, considering that it's the same exact song over and over and over again. It's kind of how Boston is, though. Next up, we got uh, the only Doors record that I have. Strangely, is supposedly one of the rare ones, according to uh, Doors fanatic friend of mine, 13, isn't necessarily an album. It's a uh, greatest hits collection. Doesn't actually have my favorite song, though, uh, Riders on the Storm. I was kind of disappointed. L.A. Woman was the uh, album with Riders on the Storm. Came out a year later. Um, here is the Blue Oyster Cult, Some Enchanted Evening. It's a live album. It's got uh, Don't Fear the Reaper, as you could probably guess. Um, I kind of accidentally bought that, not knowing that it was a live album. Here is Electric Light Orchestra, Out of the Blue. And also, here is Electric Light Orchestra, Out of the Blue. The reason I have two of these is, this copy I bought originally only has one album. As you can tell, it's missing one. So, I had to buy another one just to get the first album, which uh, was kind of disappointing. Next up we got Boston Number 2, which is the same deal with Boston Number 1. Same song over and over again. Still a good song, though. Got uh, Blondie Parallel Lines, it's got uh, Heart of Glass, and um, what, uh, one way or another. Yeah, uh, I'm a fan of Heart of Glass, but uh, the rest of this is kind of hmm, mysterious for me, I guess. Um, this one looks mysterious also. Uh, this is The Wall by Pink Floyd. The only actual Pink Floyd album that I own, strangely. Um, might have to edit out that last part because I didn't realize the inside of that album has... That kind of stuff. I forgot it. Well, I realized it a long time ago, but whatever. Here is uh, <laughs> uh, Michael Jackson's Off the Wall. Um, I had this hanging up in a college dorm room, and we uh, took a big Jason Voorhees hockey mask and placed it over Michael Jackson's face, which was uh, quite amusing, if I do say so myself. Um, we got uh, Breakfast in America, I think it's called, Super Tramp. Uh, yeah, Breakfast in America. It's got... Uh, what does it have? Um, Goodbye Stranger. That's what I was looking for. It's also got uh, The Logical Song, which is a favorite of my mother's, I believe. But uh, I guess that's another story for another day. Uh, Led Zeppelin 2. Strangely, this is the only Led Zeppelin I c album I can find for a decent price. Um, I actually got this for free. Um, in addition to it being free, it also came with a free comb on the inside, a free camera lens cap, and... I don't know why I'm putting it on this blanket, but uh, a free, like, rat's nest looking bug thing. Uh, it was kind of disgusting on the inside. Cleaned it out, though. Uh, this is, I think it's one of the rarer ones that I own. Wipeout, the Surfaris, the uh, original uh, with Surfer Joe. Uh, it's kind of hard to, f well, it's definitely hard to find this one, but uh, I paid probably more than I should have for that. Uh, Probably way less than most people would pay for it, though. Uh, this is the best of the animals. Really, I've been looking for House of the Rising Sun for a long time, and uh, it's too bad this is torn. Then again, I don't really want to look at Charles Chandler, do I? I don't know. Um, yeah. Don't let me be misunderstood. I've heard that song before. I can't remember it, though. Um, this one doesn't actually have a record cover. It's, uh, it's Rolling Stone's Hot something. Hot, uh, hot rocks. I was going to say hot mess, but uh, no, that's Chromio and uh, Cobra Starship, I think, also made a song called Hot Mess. Um, Beatles, Abbey Road. Uh, what does this have on it? What does this have on it? Uh, Here Comes the Sun. That's a good one to come together. Also a good one. Uh, fun thing about uh, the album cover I always notice is that he's got no shoes, but uh, everybody knows that. Uh, some Ventures. I like Ventures. I like uh, surf guitar kind of stuff. It's kind of interesting. Got more Ventures. 
got some Batman theme going on there. And I uh, got some more ventures. Walk, Don't Run. Also good. Um, this is the album cover for Dark Side of the Moon. Got this for free. Uh, used it as a mouse pad for a very long time. But, uh, yeah. Next up we got Who's Next? The Who album, which has uh, Bob O'Reilly on, I believe, on the... Mm, yeah. This was, uh, I'm looking forward to an album that's very inspired by this. The, uh, Next Justice album, Audio Video Disco, is coming out, uh, October 25th of 2011, which is, what, two months from where this video is made? Um, Deep Purple, the very best of Deep Purple. Basically, I was looking for Highway Star and Smoke on the Water. More so Highway Star, but, uh, you know, Smoke on the Water is always a good thing to have, I guess you could say. Uh, Isaac Hayes, really I was just looking for the Shaft theme, which uh, is, in my eyes, a classic piece of film uh, soundtrack, but, uh, you know, who cares about my opinion? Uh, another soundtracky kind of thing, Tommy, another Who thing, it's got uh, Pinball Wizard on it, which is always funny. Uh, <laughs> we're going to bring on the funk here, uh, Parliament, Mothership Connection, uh, I really like the... Uh, Daft Punk remix of the rework by Scott Grooves, if that makes any sense. Scott Grooves made a song called Mothership Reconnection, and Daft Punk made an amazing remix of that. Um, this next one, no, I'm gonna skip that one. <laughs> you don't know, you don't want to know what it is. Um, very best of Eric Clapton. Uh, I actually, when I got this, I got it new of all things uh, for a dollar. Um, it's got some good stuff on there, you know, cocaine. Not to say that cocaine's a good thing. Um, if you are addicted to cocaine, that's unfortunate, and you should probably uh, lay off of that. Or uh, lay down Sally, if your name is Sally, I guess. That was really bad, I apologize. Uh, this is the uh, first three Kiss albums, which is hilarious, because I'm not really a big fi Kiss fan, but uh, it's got uh, rock and roll all night, I believe. Yeah. My favorite Kiss song is... Uh, Detroit Rock City, but it's not on the first three albums, which is kind of unfortunate for me, I suppose. I uh, got this song, or this album from uh, my uncle, Ramon's first album, which is uh, self-titled. Uh, my favorite song on here, uh, well, my favorite song is Blitzkrieg Bop, as uh, most would assume, but uh, my favorite song title is uh, Now I Want to Sniff Some Glue. I don't know if the camera can make that out. No, no can't really get to it, but uh, yeah. Now I want to sniff some glue. That's when you need to tell your parents. Um, Electric Light Orchestra again. This one's got uh, telephone line. Yeah. Uh, it's also got... Uh, what? Uh, living Thing? Living seems good. Strange thing about ELO. I can never find their album that's got the... Uh, not Gypsy. What is that word? The... Uh, mm, the Genie on the front of it. I, I'm blanking. I apologize. Uh, I can't even remember what the name of that album is. Uh, can you make that out? It says uh, ACDC Back in Black. Trust me. Uh, yeah, we go focus. Uh, got some Back in Black on there. Shoot to Thrill. Um, next up we got uh, Hotel California by the Eagles. It's got uh, Hotel California the song and uh, probably not a whole lot else. Uh, I can't even tell because they forgot how to put things on the back. Um... Yeah, I don't even know what other songs are on there. Uh, Wasted Time, Reprise, Victim of Love. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> sure. Uh, more Eagles-related stuff, surprisingly. We got the heavy metal soundtrack. Uh, I say Eagles-related because it's got Don Felder, and I think he was in the Eagles. I think is the keyword there. Uh, but yeah, heavy metal is pretty cool. Um, a lot of people recognize this one probably they probably don't recognize the album because nobody that uh, has heard this song in the last four years has even picked up vinyl in their entire lifetime uh i'm referring to the song don't stop believing it was a decent song it still is a decent song it's just it has become the anthem of uh everybody that's graduated between the years of like 2008 and 2012 which is kind of unfortunate for uh classic rock fans out there, because this is the classic rock song now, which is unfortunate, because classic rock really is a great genre. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, more Rush, Moving Pictures. Uh, this has Tom Sawyer on it. 
Um, I think this survived a flood. That's why it looks like that. Um, more Eagles stuff. Yeah, Don Henley. I said it was Eagles. Uh, building the Perfect Beast. This has Sunset Grill and Boys of Summer, I believe. I really prefer Boys of Summer. I really like the uh, drums on it at the very beginning. It's really cool. Um, <laughs> Michael Jackson's Thriller. Uh, this is another one where we superimpose the Jason mask over uh, Michael's face. Uh, this album was very well loved, and uh, I can barely even get it to play. This is some weird uh, 80s song collection. It's got some Billy Idol and Flock of Seagulls and Duran Duran. Um, yeah, it's got some interesting new wavy stuff on it, I suppose. Uh, Judas Priest, <laughs> Screaming for Vengeance. Uh, I got this just because, uh, well, the album cover's cool, but uh, I don't know. Screaming for Vengeance is a... I really hadn't heard it, to tell you the truth, before I bought the album, but uh, I don't regret my purchase, if that makes any sense. Um, got uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates' voices. I say Daryl Hall and John Oates, but everybody just knows him as Hall and Oates. I bought this for uh, You Make My Dreams Come True. Uh, really like their style, probably because uh, I like Chromio a whole lot. Um, yeah, whatever. This is a weird thing that I got, uh, the Duran Duran Their Story book thing that was written uh, at the time, I believe, that uh, Rio came out. Rio also has uh, uh, Hungry Like the Wolf, which is good. And I also got uh, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. Rage Tiger? Ragged. Rage. Okay, something like that. Anyways, this has, uh, what does this have? Two Tribes Go to War? Uh, no, it's got the Reflex. Um... Another new wavy kind of thing I get. Uh, this is the only 7-inch record I own. Uh, the Safety Dance. Uh, you know, how can you go wrong with the Safety Dance, right? I mean, without hats? Something like that. Uh, more new wave. Uh, we got Devos. Freedom of Choice. Um, Spanish copy, of all things. Uh, yeah, it says, uh, Hatrio in Mexico. Uh, probably make made in Mexico. Um, I'm not really too familiar with Devo, but uh, I always like the Bob 1 and Bob 2, and Bob 2's over there for some reason. Um, yeah, next up we got uh, a whole load of stuff. We got Bailey Idol's debut EP, uh, titled Don't Stop. It's got, uh, I don't even know what, it's got Moni on it. Yeah, and Dancing With Myself, the long version, which is good. Got uh, the single of White Wedding, which is probably my favorite Billy Idol song. Uh, got the album with White Wedding on it, which is his first album, and I got his second album, Rebel Yell. So, uh, yeah, lots of Billy Idol. And, uh, I guess more 80s rock stuff. We got uh, Scorpions Loved for Sting. Uh, yeah, probably should have covered up that album, but whatever. Um, Real Life, Send Me an Angel. I got this because of the movie The Wizard. If you've never seen The Wizard, you need to uh, go check that out. It's an amazing uh, Nintendo commercial, <laughs> basically. Uh, David Bowie, uh, Let's Dance. I don't even know where to start with David Bowie. Uh, literally, because there are so many David Bowie albums, it's crazy. Like, how many? I don't even know. Why am I asking you? There's, like, so many albums. Just look it up on Wikipedia. This is, like, the 30th or something stupid. I don't know. It's got some good songs on it. Uh, related to David Bowie, and by related, I mean it has him on it. We got uh, Dancing in the Street. Uh, this is probably the second most um, uh, homoerotic album cover I own. Uh, the first is probably Welcome to the Pleasure Dome by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. That's in the other room, though, because uh, I don't keep it in the same room that I sleep in. Uh, no offense. Um, got Seek Seek Sputnik, Love Missile F111. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the video now. Uh, but uh, Seek Seek Sputnik's uh, pretty cool. And by pretty cool, I mean amazingly new wave. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, going to have another part up soon, which will conclude the rest of my rock and pop. And it basically entitles... An, uh, I'll put one more on the end of this. Here we got uh, something I recently got. Uh, Lay Night Club and Cry to More present Troubadour and Mirage. Uh, this is a more recent-y thing, so if you're a classic rockhead that for some reason found this video, you probably won't recognize that. Thanks for watching, though.